Hi friends. So what is this week 17? I mean, last week was a total blow up in my face. Yes, I gained. If you didn't watch last week's update, I did gain on what was that week 16 or was it week 16? I can't remember. Uh, the weeks just seem to be going by so fast, but I did gain. Um, and I know it was all because of my cycle. Like my cycle started the day before my weigh in and girl, if it lines up like that, I knew. I knew I could just feel it even in my pajamas and you know when you feel it in your pajamas that's a lot of bloat if this is your first time watching me hello welcome to my channel my name is Gia I share weekly keto updates of my keto weight loss journey I share what I eat when I eat how much weight I lost before and after pictures all of that stuff I would love for you to join my YouTube family by clicking the subscribe button down below as well as the little bell next to it and for those already subscribed welcome back I knew that I had gained and so when I stepped on the scale I wasn't surprised and you know honestly a couple days later I weighed myself and I had already lost two of the three pounds that I gained so I know it was water weight and I know it was because of my cycle now I know I think I got some comments that were asking well do you think it's because of all the stuff that you were eating I honestly don't think it was the stuff I was eating now last week girl I did eat good you remember okay the keto fried chicken the keto cheddar biscuits the keto noodles pasta noodles i mean i was eating good okay <laughs> so i didn't like succumb to anything that any of those cravings but i did find myself snacking more on those little lily's dark chocolate chips so that could have been it but this week I did so much better. I felt so much better. Honestly, my cycle had started the day before I weighed in. So I did have my cycle for most of the day, most of the week last week. I didn't start feeling like myself until like that Thursday um, where I felt like the bloat was finally gone and like back to my normal self. Now I did have a moment of weakness this, this week for the first time, like I cheated, but I'm proud of myself because usually when that happens, I will just cancel out the whole day and turn it into a cheat day which then makes it harder for me to climb back up and get back off of that cliff of carbs. But I just, it was a moment of weakness. I did it and then I acted like it just never happened and I just was back on it. So anyway, that's enough of me chatting. Um, go ahead, watch this week's video and then we'll chat. Well, y'all, I'm starting off the day a little bit rough. Well, I shouldn't say that. I'm, I'm just eating chocolate chips so far. It's 10.36, I had a rough night. I did not sleep well. I'm menstruating and I just made my kids pancakes and I wanna eat a full large stack of IHOP pancakes right now okay that's how I'm feeling so if I'm eating these <laughs> dark chocolate bacon chips girl without making myself a full stack of pancakes I'm proud of myself oh girl it's been a rough day I'm so pooped and out of it I did not sleep well at all last night so I literally had 10 of those dark chocolate chips today I just ate one piece of cheddar cheese oops I get this from Costco so now I just put some eggs on. I'm gonna have some hard boiled eggs. Right now it's like two o'clock. <laughs> it's eleven eating anything, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat something. I'm gonna have some hard boiled eggs. Not hard boiled eggs. I'm gonna make myself some deviled eggs. And I think I'm gonna have some keto cereal with it and that's just gonna be like brunch, <laughs> even though it's two o'clock. Um, and then I will make dinner for my family probably around six. All right y'all, this is a really random meal but I'm just gonna go with it. <laughs> Deviled eggs. I didn't share how to make deviled eggs. I assume everybody knows how to make deviled eggs, but I don't know. Leave a comment down below if you want me to show you. I can show you in next week's video, but it's just, I use Duke's Mayo's relish, a little bit of garlic, black pepper, and some smoked paprika on top. And then I have my keto cereal. This is the Keto Friendly Bakery, the granola, really good. One net carb in a third cup. And I'm going to use my unsweetened vanilla coconut milk. I almost forgot to add my chia seeds and my hemp hearts to my cereal. Um, I add a tablespoon of chia seeds and a tablespoon of hemp hearts to here. And then I also use my unsweetened vanilla coconut milk. And I'm gonna eat this like cereal. Okay, this is how it looks. Time check, it is 3.03. .03. Quick trail mix of dark chocolate lily's chips and some almonds. Time check, it is 428. Super easy meal tonight. We're having steakums again. This is hubby's request. Super easy meal. Literally, it's just gonna be a cheese steak. And then broccoli. I'll probably have a salad with mine. This is so easy. I already made the grills and they already want another one, so. Um, I'll show you once it's all together and I'll show you how I'm gonna make mine. All right, this is the pan I made the uh, broccoli in. I'm just gonna use this pan, take a low carb tortilla which has uh, four net carbs. And I'm gonna put the steak on the tortilla, fold it in half, and that's gonna be like my sandwich. 
Here's the steak here. If you're wondering where you can get steakums, I get it from the freezer section at Walmart. The ingredients are very clean. It's literally just beef. That's clean to some people, clean, not clean to others, but this is the easiest meal that you can do. My girls like them and they're pretty, pretty picky. So let me go ahead and uh, get my, saute my tortilla warmed. You can put any kind of cheese you want on top. Usually for uh, Philly cheesesteaks, they put provolone cheese. I put mozzarella cheese on there for my family. I have a piece of Havarti cheese on there for me. Last time I put mayo in here, I'm weirdo, and I like warm mayo. I like the way it tastes. <laughs> but I think I'll wait and try to open it up once it's cooked, or once the, the tortilla hardens, because the butter will make the tortilla nice and crispy. All right, so I put a little mozzarella cheese on the bottom with my sauteed onion, and you see how it's getting kind of crispy. So now I'm gonna um, transfer my meat over. And here's how it looks. So I'm gonna do one side and then I'll flip it over. See, the butter gives it like a nice brown crisp to it. And so I'm gonna flip this over in a few minutes. Boom, just flipped it over. I make my salad and this is dinner. Okay, y'all, I'm getting ready to eat. Here's my um, Steakums cheese steak. Mmm, looking good, ain't it? Put a little mayonnaise on the side because I'm a mayonnaise lover. And I have my salad as a side. Time check it is 6.40. Oh, I cannot begin to tell you how good this is. Oh, it is so good. It's such a treat. Mm. Good morning, friends. Happy Tuesday. In between hungry and I, I'm bloated because I'm menstruating, um, but I'm hungry. So I'm going to have my regular breakfast. I have two scrambled eggs, a sausage, and a keto, uh, birch bender keto toaster waffles. I get these from either Walmart or Target. Walmart's cheaper. And then I have my chalk zero maple syrup on top. Mm, it's gonna be so good. Time check it is 1034. Oh, that was so good. I also wanted to say it's actually, the serving size is two uh, waffles and you get for six net carbs. I usually only eat one for three net carbs. These are really good though, cause you can make like a brittle, like a griddle, McGriddle sandwich with two of these. You can use them as sandwich bread. You can put a little cinnamon on there, whipped cream. You can use it as a dessert if you add uh, strawberries on top. So there's a lot of different things you could do with these and I really like these. Now, they also have a chocolate chip keto toaster waffle. That one isn't as good though. I don't like that one. I, I just, I don't know. The chocolate chips didn't taste good to me in those. But so if you see these, definitely pick them up. But you can also add like chocolate chip, your own um, like Lily's chocolate chips to this. So anyway, I just thought I'd let you guys know. All right, it's coffee time. It's 12 o'clock now. And in here I have mostly unsweetened vanilla coconut milk and a little bit of heavy cream. I'm gonna froth this up. Now the coconut milk doesn't really froth up like the heavy cream does. And I have like a nice froth and coffee. So I'm just gonna mix this up, add my liquid stevia, um, my MCT oil, and this will be my coffee that I'm gonna enjoy slowly. Okay, it's coffee time, y'all. I got my MCT oil, liquid stevia, like I said, and this is coconut milk and heavy cream in here. So I'm gonna enjoy this. Time check, it's 12.05. Lunch time, y'all. You're gonna see me eating a lot more than I typically do because I'm menstruating. Yep, we're family here, so it's all good. So this is what I'm eating for lunch today. <laughs> Usually just eat the cereal, but I want the cereal with my hemp hearts, chia seeds, and this is the granola cereal I'm using. I'll put some unsweetened vanilla milk in here. I have five pieces of um, pepperoni, a few almonds, baby bell cheese, and some Lily's dark chocolate baking chips because a girl needs chocolate. So this is what, I, what I'm gonna eat. Time check it is 2.23. I took some chicken out for dinner tonight. I have no idea how I'm gonna cook it yet though. Girl, my eyes were bigger than my stomach. That's what my mom used to say. I ate my plate and now I'm full. And I, I don't, I'm too full to have my um, keto cereal. So I'll probably eat this later because I definitely want to get my chia seeds and my hemp hearts in for the fiber and the fat. So I'm just gonna leave this here and maybe possibly just eat it later. If not, I'll just put it in container and then I'll have it tomorrow. I'm going super simple for dinner tonight, y'all. I got my chicken thaw. These are boneless skinless chicken tenders. I'm just gonna saute them. And um, we have some leftover rice that I'll have, my family will have. And then I'll probably open a can of green beans or something like that since we just had broccoli last night. And that's gonna be it. So let me go ahead and get started. All right, I take that back. I'm gonna change it up. I forgot I had some cilantro that I bought last week. So I think I'm gonna make, and I have this, I don't have fresh lime, but I have this, so I'll just have to do. So I think I'm gonna make some cilantro lime chicken and maybe some chipotle rice, make it like a chipotle rice for my family. And then myself, I'll probably just have a salad. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop this up. Okay, so I'm just making this up as we go, but I have um, salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, a little bit of cumin, smoked paprika, fresh cilantro, olive oil, and lime 
juice in here. I'm just gonna mix this all up and grill this and then it'll be done. It smells really good. I shouldn't say grill. Real like, more like use my cast iron in the house and just brown it. <laughs> all right, got the chicken on. Doing two batches. I'm just gonna cook it for like two to three minutes on each side. It smells really good. And then I have leftover rice that I'm gonna make into chipotle rice for my family. I chopped up some fresh chip, um, cilantro. Uh, you add olive oil and lime juice and tastes just like chipotle. So I also have some canned green beans on, but I probably won't have any of these and I'll probably just have a salad. So easy y'all. This just chicken came out really moist. It was really good. I showed you what I did, right? I can't remember. <laughs> I'm trying to film for IG. I'm doing an Instagram day in the life today. So I'm trying to film for Instagram and with my camera. But anyway, here's a salad. Um, I basically just, um, and I didn't even have time to marinate this and it still came out really juicy. The lime juice, olive oil, fresh cilantro, salt, pepper, garlic, smoked paprika, cumin, and chili powder. And then for my family's chipotle rice, I had leftover rice that I had and I just added olive oil fresh cilantro and lime juice to it mix it up and it's done so here's my meal time check it is 6 56. this is that kind of day girl i need a little bit of chocolate to pick me up these are the lily star chocolate chips it's 7 36. grand rising friends happy wednesday it is 10 o'clock i got my one fried egg my um birch bender frozen waffle keto waffle and a sausage for breakfast today and i cannot wait to drink my coffee i'm really looking forward to it i started thinking about it last night actually so let me go ahead and eat this all right y'all it is time for lunch um i just have my keto cereal that i made yesterday that i couldn't eat because it was just too much so i have this and i'll probably get a few um chocolate chips girl because i don't know i'm just like on this chocolate cake lately and then that's it for lunch time check it is 159. Yummy. Quick snack, almonds, and baby bell cheese. Time check, it is 437. All right, y'all. Leftovers from last night. I'm really struggling today, too, y'all. I just, I had some more dark, dark chocolate chips. And I also actually ate two barbecue chips. I'm just gonna be honest with y'all. I had two of these. And they were so good. I almost dove in and got a whole handful, but I didn't. I cut myself off. So this is just a mixed green salad. This is the leftover cilantro lime chicken from last night that I just crumbled up on top with blue cheese dressing and some red onions. Time check. It is 7.05. So I bought these from Aldi several months ago. I can't remember how many months ago now. And I'm ready for dessert. Everybody else had dessert, girl. So I want some dessert too. So I'm going to make myself a little cake in um, a mug. Um, but I just am so excited to use use these so let me open them up oh against my better judgment i'm trying a, a new recipe for a white cake in a mug now my chocolate cake in the mud is a banger it works every time it's so good okay and now i haven't added my egg yet i got this recipe off of instagram i forget the name oh it's a bacon butter bourbon this account here it is i took a picture screenshot of it uh I'll let you know if it's good the one thing i'm going to change though is i'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla and then i also have a teaspoon i'm going to add a teaspoon of this cake batter flavor extract and see how that um tastes but we'll see right it's looking kind of good uh words of the wise don't mix it in this thing because it because of all the markings on it it's very loud i mean it is what it is but it did mix up well i was scared it wasn't mixing up because it was just so dry but once i added the egg it really helped again here's the recipe i'm going to put this in for a minute the only thing i changed from this recipe is i added a cake batter vanilla extract oh not vanilla extract a cake batter extract and then i had my vanilla extract that i have here this is pure vanilla extract too so yeah we will see it smells very good it smells like a normal you know, this is supposed to be a white cake mix, but this is more like yellow. The cake batter has a tint to it. It's like yellowish, this cake batter extract. So let's put it in there and see. I am making myself a little bit of whipped cream too, girl. I'm going in. A whipped icing, I should say. I'm going in. So let me go ahead and put this in. All right, here's how it looks. I don't know if it's going to be too soft or runny. You think it's going to be too runny? I don't... Maybe I'll put it in for another 10 seconds. I don't want it to be dry, but then I don't want it to be like too gushy. You know, I don't know. Maybe I'll just leave it like this because it'll still cook a little bit. Let me go ahead and whip up my quick buttercream. Totally winging this uh, icing, but I have a tablespoon of melted butter here. I'm going to add a tablespoon of powder to Rithritol and maybe two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. I don't know, girl. I'm just going to wing it and see what works. Also, I put a few drops of vanilla extract in there. I didn't measure it out. I just 
quite a few drops in. Let's see if this will turn out okay. I'm just gonna mix it here with my frother. All right, this is as good as it's gonna get. It's still a little shaky here. <sighs> I'm ready to eat this though, I'm tired at this point. All right, and now for the moment of truth. Is it gonna be cute? Is it gonna be runny? I don't know. Okay, but for the sake of my sanity, let's just hope it's cute because I'm ready to eat this daggone dessert. <gasps> it's ready, no! Learn from my mistakes. I immediately flipped it back over and I'm gonna put it back in the microwave. Tag on when you try to follow directions instead of going with your gut. Another 15 seconds. Here we are again, y'all. If this doesn't turn out, listen, I'm just gonna have to go ahead and retire the night and it is what it is. I put it on for another 15 seconds and it seemed to still seemed a little runny. I put it on for another 10 seconds. Is this gonna be good? Let's see. Pray for me, y'all. Okay. Finally, sis. Jeez. I hope it's not dense and eggy. It smells a little on the eggy side. <laughs> I just want dessert. I really freaking just want dessert. I just want dessert. I just want freaking dessert. Tag on my my homemade icing. I don't know what the, the milk. The heavy cream is separating from the butter. I don't know what I'm doing with that. And I am just, it's not my day. It just isn't. So should I just add cream cheese to this? Should I just dump this? I don't know, but let me show you what I'm working with here. That looks crazy. Does that not look crazy? What can I do to save this? I, nothing, I, I can do nothing. All right, I know it looks like mayo, but I tasted this part. I'm not gonna lie, since it tastes pretty good. <laughs> It tastes good, it just looks crazy. I mean, it, is that the butter that I'm eating? I mean, who doesn't like sweetened butter, right? I'm gonna put a little bit on there and see how this goes. Girl, look at this crap. I had to step away for a second because Zara needed a Band-Aid and look. <sighs> I give up on the icing, I'm giving up. We just had to make it work with what we got, which is a little bit of chalk syrup, maple syrup, whipped cream, and some chocolate chips. I will let you know if it tastes good. All right, y'all, here is the first bite. I don't know, I don't have high hopes, I'll be honest, I don't. And if this doesn't turn out, I just, I don't know how I'm gonna react, but here it is. The cake's actually not bad. I was scared, I thought it was gonna taste eggy. I just wish I would've took the time to make the cream cheese icing. Okay, so take it from me. Take the time, sis. Make that cream cheese. I didn't feel like melting the cream cheese and softening it and all that. I should've taken the time instead of being lazy because the cake is not bad at all. I just wish I had a little icing with it. It's not eggy. Like I thought. I heard that you can use egg whites though instead of a full egg. If you're scared of it being eggy, you know. <sighs> this will have to do for tonight though. I changed my mind about the cake. I don't like it. I don't know if you can see how oily it is. I don't know. I just, Zara tasted it and she just spit it out and was like, ew. I, I don't know. I need y'all to send me a good cake recipe. Not chocolate, because I have a good chocolate one, but like, Either white cake or yellow cake. I would just love and like icing something quick and easy. What do you guys think? Please leave a comment down below. Tell me any Instagram pages or at me on IG and let me know, girl, cause listen, the struggle. Time check, it's 12. Morning friends, breakfast of champions. I got my birch bender, keto waffle, two pieces of bacon and an egg. Time check, it is 1045. Happy Wednesday? Yes, Wednesday, no. Happy Thursday, <laughs> I'm out of it. It's bulletproof coffee time, y'all. I put way too much uh, coconut cream or coconut milk in my, I didn't realize my coconut milk frothed up like this, but it really does. And so I have extra coffee here because I had to add another cup and here we are. So but I'm gonna drink all this girl, every single bit of it. I um, mean, you know, I'm looking at my coffee. It's so light. Hmm, that's interesting. All right, so I'm gonna mix this up. Get my drink on. So time check, it is 11.10 to eat lunch. So today, I wanted to have this one. This uh, is the other keto cereal that I like, or nut granola that I like by Low Carb. It's different. To me, they taste differently. They look a little different. They're both good, just different. <laughs> Cinnamon pecan is this uh, flavor. So I have this and one tablespoon of hemp hearts, one tablespoon of chia seeds. I right, got my cereal, got a little treat. I'm on like my sweet tooth kick right now. These are the mini dark chocolate baking chips. We have in 60 chips, and this isn't even close to 60. There are, what, three net carbs, is it? Do you subtract the erythritol, I guess? If you have subtracted the erythritol, it's one net carb, so. 
Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and eat. Time check, it is 3.06. I need a little pick-me-up, y'all. So I loaded her up with my little mini Lily's chocolate chip and some peanut butter time check it is five o'clock i have a six o'clock meeting so we're gonna be eating dinner late tonight but i do have shrimp some shrimp thawed all right y'all it's super late and i'm just now getting ready to cook it's 9 15. i was on a call for three hours way longer than i anticipated the girls ate they had popcorn shrimp and some leftover chip chipotle rice that i made or cilantro rice so my husband and i are just gonna have shrimp tacos these are what i had thawed so i'm going to chop them up i have my butter melting I'm gonna saute some onions and that's pretty much it. And we'll just add the toppings to uh, the tacos. So let me go ahead and finish dicing these up. All right, so it's seasoned with salt, pepper, garlic, Old Bay, uh, cumin, uh, chili powder, and smoked paprika. So now I'm going to just toss this up a little bit on my cutting board. I got my onions going and then I will dice a tomato for us. And we have sour cream and salsa and that's gonna be our taco i have low carb tortillas for myself and my, my husband has regular soft tortillas all right y'all here's my taco you know i fry my uh, low carb tortilla in a pan with butter um i don't know i just like it crispy it just makes me feel full <laughs> could be totally mental but it just makes me feel full and so i have my top my shrimp in here and onions i have cheddar cheese tomato salsa and sour cream because uh, that's all we got and some taco bells mild sauce and that has one gram of carb okay. yeah one gram of carb and tablespoon so this is my dinner it's really late time check it's 9 45. Mm, this is really good y'all and rising friends happy friday it is 10 48. i have one fried egg here with some cheese on top and i have a hillshire farm like um sausage link and i just slice it up um for me and my husband for breakfast the girls obviously they they eat earlier um, and so this is what I'm gonna have. I ate late last night, which made it so that I didn't sleep as well. Like I felt like I had to stay up later because you know I was just giving my food time to digest. I didn't want to have indigestion or anything. So yeah, it definitely benefits me to eat earlier in the day. So here's my breakfast. But y'all, I have frothed up a little bit of heavy whipping cream there at the bottom of my coffee. I added a few drops of liquid stevia. I'm adding all the extras today because it's Friday. So I got a little of my Choc Zero Caramel Syrup I'm gonna drizzle in there. Of course, I have my MCT oil. And, and the reason, I think I got a comment that said, because you've been on keto so, while, so long, you really don't need to use MCT oil anymore. And um, I don't just use this to get into ketosis. I use this to make sure that I'm getting my enough fats in for the day. Especially when you go down to just eating like two meals a day. Um, you want to make sure you get those fats in, or even if you do uh, OMAD one meal a day, you have to make sure that you're getting enough fat. So that's why I like to use MCT oil to get, it's an easy 14 grams of fat for me with just one tablespoon of this. So let me go ahead and make my coffee up. Oh, the coffee I'm using is this Guatemala coffee. I get this from Aldi. Mmm, how good does this look? Yes, ma'am. I'm here for it. I'm here for the mini chocolate chips because I'm doing the most with my coffee today so i'm here for it girl time check it is 11 38 i had to come back to tell you i added a little caramel on the top baby this tastes so good Quick snack here got a baby bell cheese i just ate a palm full of almonds time check it is 2 13 and i'm gonna chug a bunch of water jamaica jamaica it is jerk wing night girl i haven't had these in forever not gonna eat the plantains because those are not keto friendly this is all cabbage here but i love my jerk wings you know i get the sauce on the side the sauce is not keto friendly obviously so i get it on the side i dip it a little bit in there but i will eat all of this except for the plantains happy will eat those this is going to be my meal it's 6 15 i will probably have dessert we'll see how i feel afterwards yes i ate all the wings and yes i have room for this sea salt caramel keto dessert get up in here girl i get these from costco they're so good pricey but good time check this is for sure my last meal at 6 53. good morning well actually good afternoon it's 12 11. getting ready to make my coffee i have heavy whipping cream in here and i'm keeping vanilla milk coconut milk oh gosh i think i might have put too much in here but the coconut milk froths up really nicely i must say and then i have liquid tv in here and i'll add my mct oil and Oh, yeah. All right, y'all. So here it is. Oh, I'm so happy that the coconut milk froths up like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this slowly. Time check. It is 12:13. Quick almond snack. It is 3:27. We're probably gonna eat early dinner today. 
and so um so i really haven't i don't want to like make myself a whole meal at this point but i've been drinking a lot of water just trying to hydrate so i can get back on track it's just taking me a while y'all i am so hungry i'm so hungry so i ordered like two meals i just charles is like babe i think i don't know if they gave you us the right order there's like two meals in here listen i ordered starter wings and a steak salad <laughs> appetizer wings and a steak salad because listen i'm hungry hungry it is 6 30. we haven't really technically we eaten we anything eat. today yeah, we, eat we just had a coffee and i had breakfast. some almonds and that's it so but see i have a confession to make y'all though hold on let me go ahead and enjoy this meal and then i'll tell you what my confession is and why i did not eat this morning last night i had a breakdown charles was eating something on the couch while we were watching um a movie last it's night not about charles. it's not about charles he's right it's about me and i don't know i just felt so hungry i was hungry mm -hmm. even after i had my ice cream bar i was hungry mm -hmm. so i had a breakdown and i had some chips mm -hmm. i had barbecue chips pringles mm -hmm. pretzels mm -hmm. and some fritos twisted barbecue chips like i just i didn't gorge myself of it but like i had way more than like two or three <laughs> i had two um like handfuls of barbecue chips i had like five pretzels i had like um six pringles and i had like um six or seven of those twisted fritos and you know what it was good <laughs> it was so good my stomach did start hurting though um, but my but it was so good and so this morning i wasn't hungry i just i don't know i felt better after i used the bathroom if you know what i mean today and i felt back on track because i drank so much water today which is why i was able to you know last until 6 30 so um if that ever happens to you where you know what you had something that you know is not um a part of the plan girl dust yourself off drink a lot of water the next day you'll be fine so that's why i'm looking forward to this meal right now and spend a time with happy while the girls are at my mom's so let me go ahead and dig in dessert it's 8 19 last meal of the day I promise. Happy Friday. Not Friday. Oh my gosh. I'm out of it, y'all. It's one o'clock and I'm out of it. Happy Sunday. Whoa. <laughs> I'm getting ready to drink my bulletproof coffee, girl. This is my first mm, meal of the day. I got my water here. I'm on my second jug. About to get some work done. Feeling pumped. Y'all, I'm hungry. It's 6 57. I have not had, I'm trying to think, I didn't have any, okay, I had a spoonful of greens that I tasted at my mom's, but she wanted me to taste them, and that's it. I've been ripping and running all day. So I'm getting ready to make my husband and I some homemade pizzas. My girls ate at my mom's. My mom made, like, macaroni and cheese and some fried chicken and some um, instant pot cream. So, yeah, <laughs> we're going to just have a homemade pizza. I got my Italian sausage here, broccoli, um, onions, tomatoes, mozzarella cheese, uh, goat cheese is somewhere and some pepperoni pizza's done so i'm going to eat this this is going to be my last meal at 7 22 and then we'll start another week of eating keto so that's what i ate y'all girl those chips those daggone barbecue chips try to take me out of the keto game they did they tried to take me out okay and those keto chips turned into you know a couple of pringles a couple of pretzels you know, I just missed the crunch. Like I wanted it so bad. I wasn't even hungry. It was just the fact that my husband was eating a snack. My kids were at my parents. We were watching a movie. I wanted something to snack on. Girl, so I tore those chips up. They were good too. They were good. I had about two, two good handfuls. I'm proud of myself. Cause like I said, the old me would have turned that, canceled that, that whole next day, I would have been a whole cheat day. And it would have turned to a cheat two or three days that I've tried to just like kind of binge eat. And I, you know, I'm just glad that I didn't allow myself to go there. You know, it happened. I got back up, you know, and I started the day off clean again, drinking lots of water. I really wasn't even hungry from that. It did hurt my stomach a little bit the next day, um, but I was really still really full. And it, it took me a while, as you saw in the video, for me to even drink my coffee, but I was just drinking the water. If that happens to you, I can't tell you how much water will help you tremendously. Even like through those cravings of wanting to snack and feeling like um, you wanna flush your system out, drinking that water, doubling up on your water. I know most of us think we drink a lot of water, but if you even attempt to like double that, it will help tremendously. And now for me personally, it does. So, all right, so that's enough of me yapping. Go ahead, watch my before and after pictures and then we'll chat about the weight loss this week. Here I am. I don't even know what week this is at this point. I think it's 17, I think. 
I didn't even show y'all in the bikini last week, girl. I was so bloated. I didn't even want to look at this bathing suit from my cycle, but this week was good. It just took me a while to get back into the rhythm. Um, I don't know. This That past cycle was really a hard one. Like, it was very, um, like, I felt really bloated, and I kept wanting to eat. That's why I gained weight last week. But this week, girl, you know. I lost it all, so <laughs> I feel good about that. But um, I don't know, I feel like um, my waist is still coming in. My thighs are getting a lot smaller. My waist is getting elongated. My boobs are a little bit more saggy because that's, what, you know, it, it's like when you lose weight and they're real, they go down. But it's all good. <laughs> I still think that I look good um, and that I'm sexy. I mean, I was sexy before, but I always say that, you know, you have to love yourself right where you're at, at all stages, you know? So, um, yeah, here I am. Let's go ahead and do the comparison. like to start doing a little bit of strength training and I am going to that's my goal but right now it's like I have a lot on my plate right now and so I've got to figure out a way to kind of weave it in without it being stressful you know if you add another thing you know it takes a lot of mental power to think about everything that you're gonna eat and then to add like strength training on top of that is like ooh, <laughs> plus digital learning plus running a business it's like I don't know girl but um, I do feel like I look a lot smaller than I started. Let's see over here. Yep. I feel a lot smaller for sure. I don't feel blate bloated or anything. I feel really good. I'm looking good, aren't I, girl? <laughs> I'm looking good. I know. I I feel like I'm looking really good. You know, honestly, I'm only what 11 pounds from my goal weight. I think. I don't know. I said I wanted to lose 40 pounds and there's like a number that I have in my head, but I try not to compare that number because I know what I looked like when I weighed that before I had kids and like my body's changed. I'm older, first of all now. You know, I've had two children, your body changes and I'm like learning to just like accept that and love that and just embrace being older, embrace my curves, embrace my beauty. You know, we're all beautiful in some sort of way and it's important that we embrace that and enhance that in our own natural way. You know, I, I, of course, the number one benefit to me being on keto is uh, a healthier lifestyle for one and more energy, not having aches and pains or headaches and stuff like that. Like my body really responds to, to the low to no sugar. Um, it's really, really helpful. Regardless if you're keto or not, even if you just cut your sugar back, it, it helps tremendously with so many um, different benefits to your body. But yeah, I'm just feeling really good. I just, I don't wanna stop. Like I don't wanna stop and like take a week off of Thanksgiving or take that break. Usually in the past, I've always taken a break between Thanksgiving and Christmas because they're so close together and there's so many meals in there, you know? I used to be from like October to girl New Year's and that's how you just fall all the way off the cliff and it's hard to come back on. So for me, um, I'm not saying that I'm gonna eat keto on Thanksgiving, but you know, this week I did try my cornbread, which you'll see in next week's up update. And the keto quiche's cornbread is banging, I must say. So I'm excited about that. And the actual possibility of maybe having a nice meal in between Thanksgiving and Christmas, it'd still be keto, but maybe it's not the cleanest keto, but at least it's not like I'm gorging on stuffing and candy yams and, you know, regular macaroni and cheese and stuff. So um, I'm thinking about that. It, it is on my mind because it, it takes a lot of mental energy off not to succumb to, you know, eating all that ice cream or eating a huge piece of pound cake during the holidays. It takes a lot of energy. Okay, so that's why I've been talking about it for these past couple of weeks. I just want to get ourselves ready. This weekend is Halloween. We don't celebrate Halloween, but um, I do have like my husband's been eating candy corn and I do get extra candy and treats for the girls and stuff like that. So that temptation is there. But honestly, there's so many keto um, replacements out there now and recipes for that kind of stuff that we should be able to find something to suffice our cravings if, you know, we get a craving for a Butterfinger 
I mean, I don't like Butterfingers, but maybe you do, but there, I saw a keto Butterfinger recipe on Instagram. You know, there's lots of keto peanut butter cup recipes. You know what I do. I take a scoop of peanut butter and add some dark um, Lily's sugar-free chocolate chips on it, and that's my peanut butter um, cup. So listen, we're in this for the long run. We are going to completely crush our goals, okay? 2020 has been a roller coaster of a year, but honestly, we can still, you know, crush our, our goals and make something of it for ourselves, especially with these personal journeys that we're on. Because remember, this, these videos aren't just for people on keto, it's for anybody that's on a journey to, to change, to change their habits, to change their lifestyle, whatever it is, to like one step at a time to become a better person. So, okay, I've been talking a lot. Sorry, I, I go off my tangent sometimes. I lost this week a total of 3.2 pounds yeah 3.2 pounds so i like lost what i had gained last week plus a little bit so i'm really happy about that it's hard for me to keep track you know um in between week to week well i shouldn't say that i like to look at the overall number okay so for the past 17 is it 17 weeks or 18 whatever week we're on i lost a total of 30.3 pounds okay 30.3 pounds and i started let's see june 22nd I started on June 22nd. Today is my weigh-in day of October 26th was my weigh-in day. So however many weeks that is in between there, you know, four months, you know? So for four months, I've lost 30.3 pounds, y'all. That is, I'm so excited and I'm happy. I feel really, really good about it. So I'm really excited about that. How are you guys doing on your journey? How's it going for you? What are you struggling with? You know, what can I help you with? What kind of content can I make to help you with any of the anything that you're struggling with right now when it comes to, you know, maybe what we eat, exercising. Now that's something that I do want to start focusing on is strength training. I want to do strength training. I know I've been saying this for the past four months, but I really do wanted to attempt to start that. I just have so much on my plate right now. And I know that's an excuse, but I am definitely going to make the time. As soon as I have the mental energy to make it a priority, I am going to definitely do that. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, you can tap my picture up above and you can also check out my previous video right over here and all of my social media platforms all listed down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.